Okay, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, but not just any ordinary makeup tutorial. It's actually going to be a Selena Gomez inspired from her music video, Come and Get It. And I absolutely love this song, and I'm a huge fan of Selena Gomez. I used to watch Wizards of Waverly Place, and actually I still do. When it does come on the Disney Channel, I am like a Disney kid. I love the Disney Channel, but that is besides the point. Um, I listen to Bandora when I'm getting ready for work, and this song came on and I've been like obsessed with it so I decided since uh, you know I watched um, the music video and I absolutely love this look it's from the beginning of the music video it is so so gorgeous so I decided to recreate it for you guys it's actually like my first recreate of like um, you know celebrity makeup and I had a lot of fun I hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial if you guys uh, want me to do any other inspired makeup you know from celebrities or whatever um, just let me know what celebrity you guys would like me to do next. You guys can send me a picture um, or whatever. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you guys want to know on how um, to get this look, just keep on watching. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So let's get started with this makeup tutorial. So as you guys can tell, I already have my full face on. I will put everything that I have on my face um, down below in the description box for those of you guys who are interested. Um, so yeah, let's just get right on to the eye tutorial. So I'm going to prime my eye and the primer that I'm using today is actually kind of like an eye base. I've been absolutely loving it. Um, it is the Maybelline Color Tech 2 from their Metal line and it's in Barely Branded. I rave about this pretty much all the time you guys all know that I absolutely love this it's just like great everyday um, eye base I absolutely love it it's so pigmented so creamy and it lasts through the whole entire day and it's just great also just by itself so I'm just gonna apply this as my um, base and I'm just gonna also bring it down to my um, tear duct also Okay, so as you guys can tell, it's just a nice, like, shimmery champagne color. Absolutely love it. And then I'm just using a whole bunch of, like, random eyeshadows from, like, the Naked Basic palette, Naked 2, and the Lorac Pro palettes. Everything will also be down, um, just else as the... Everything will be down below in the description box, just in case it go too fast. Um, so I'm going to take the Naked Basics palette first, and I'm going to take Naked 2, which is like a nice light brown color, like a taupey color. It's one of my favorite colors from this palette. And I'm going to just take it on the Sedona Lace EB13, and I'm going to apply this color in my crease. And it's just a really nice crease color. Absolutely love it. Then I'm just going to take a blending brush. Most of the brushes I'm using are from Sedona Lace. You guys have seen me use these in some of my videos before. And just blend out that color. Then I'm going to move on to the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. You guys all know I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. I'm going to take Half Baked, which is like a nice gold color and has a, like some shimmer in it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And I'm going to apply it right on top of Naked 2 from Urban Decay. Very lightly, just to add a little bit of shimmer. Okay, and then I'm going to take Snake Bite, which is like a nice dark brown color, has a some shimmer in it also. And also, if you don't have Naked Two, you can use Smog because I know Smog is in pretty much all of the Naked pa or all of the Urban Decay palettes. That's a really good color as well. But I want to use Snake Bite. I'm just going to uh, focus this color more on the outer corner, not going to go all the way in. just to darken the outer corner up a little bit. And then I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend those colors together. And 
And then I'm just going to take an angled brush. This is the Sedona Lace 773. And I'm going to take the Naked Basics palette in Venus. It's like a nice shimmery color. And I'm going to apply this um, as my highlight. And I'm basically using all shimmer colors today. I love shimmer eyeshadows. And um, in the make in the music video, she mostly had like shimmer eyeshadow going on. Uh, but you can use matte if you don't really like shimmery eyeshadows. But any of the Urban Decay palettes are great to achieve this look. And I'm just going to blend out that color. And then I'm just going to take Venus again and just apply it and in my tear duct like that and then I'm going to take um oh my god I'm going to take blackout or crave actually sorry crave um you can take either blackout or crave I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same I'm actually going to take the black one which is from the naked two they're both black matte I'm pretty sure they're very identical. And I'm just going to focus this in my outer corner. And I'm going to take it on like this concealer brush. This is from Borghese, which I got. It's the Costco um, brush set. And I'm just going to kind of take it like I'm um, applying eyeliner. It's going to be a little bit messy, but I'm going to fix it. just mainly in the outer corner just to darken it up a little bit like that and then I'm just gonna take um, this is the I think the contour brush from elf and I'm just gonna take a little bit of um, crave and just apply it right on top and just blend it out a little bit so it's not as messy and then I'm just going to take um, the blending brush that I used for my crease and just blend and then the colors that I used in my crease were half baked and suspect or not suspect uh, what is it? Snake bite. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit and put a little bit on top of the black color. So like that. And then blend it out. And then for my lid color, I'm going to take the Lorac Pro palette. And I'm gonna take the color, ooh, the Lorac Pro palette. And I'm going to take the color gold, which is just pretty much what it says it is, a nice gold shimmery color. And this is just the Sedona Lace 847, just like a flat um, eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to apply that on in my lid, the inner half of my lid. Like that. Blend it out. And then I'm just going to take that um, contour brush from e.l.f. and just take whatever's left on that brush and just, you know, since the black, I don't want it to be too dramatic right now, but I'm just going to take it just to fix it and then just blend everything out. So that is pretty much the eye look, what it looks like. And I'm going to go apply my eyeliner I'm going to tell you guys what I'm using um, for my waterline I'm going to be using the Rimmel London exaggerate waterproof eye definer in black and then for my um, top lash I'm going to be using the NYX glam liner aqua Lux, the waterproof one in black and glam black so I'm gonna go do my eyeliner because I suck at doing wing eyeliner on camera so I'll be right back and show you guys um, or do my mascara so I'll be right back Okay, so now that we're finished uh, applying the eyeliner, so this is what it looks like. I just did a wing eyeliner. You guys can just do whatever kind of eyeliner you guys would like. So I already curled my lashes and I curled it with the e.l.f. eyelash curler, which is just a dollar. You guys can find it at Target or eyesofspace.com. 
And I'm just going to be using these three mascaras today. The first one I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. So we're going to apply this to my top and my bottom lashes. And I just love how this just separates all my lashes. It lengthens them and it volumizes them a little bit. And I just absolutely love this mascara. It's like the only mascara that I can actually use just by itself. Okay, so that is the first mascara. And then the second one I'm going to be using is a new one. This is the CoverGirl um, Flamed Out Mascara. I just um, filmed a first impression video on that. So I'll put the link to that video down below in the description box for those of you guys who are interested. And this is what the um, wand looks like. And isn't the packaging super cute? So this goes on next. And this one has like a smell to it. And it like stinks. Like it's a really like, I don't know, it's strong scent to it. And then I'm just going to take my eyelash curler again and curl my lashes. And then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which is also one of my favorites. Okay, so that is pretty much it with mascara. Um, now moving on to um, the bronzer and blush. I'm actually going to be using two bronzers today. I'm first going to go in with the NARS Laguna bronzer, which looks like this. And I'm going to be using the Sedona Lay 602 angled brush. And just take a little bit of this. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I'm actually going to switch mirrors because it's super tiny. And just contour with this. And then I'm going to take the um, Benefit Hula bronzer, which is just a nice matte bronzer. I hit pan on it, and this is also one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this, and then just apply it right on top of the um, NARS Laguna. I just love how these two um, work together. And I just want kind of a more like stronger contour. So... That is what the bronzers look like. Love those. And then with blush, I'm just going to be using kind of like a natural pinky blush. This is the NYX Natural Blush, which is just a nice like matte baby pink color. And I'm just going to take it on a Real Techniques brush, which you guys can find out also. This is just a contour brush, and I love it for um, applying blush. And it's just a real light baby pink color. It pretty much said, like, the name describes it all. It's, like, a very natural color. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the face and the eyes. Now moving on to lips. So she has, like, a nice bright red lip. And I'm not usually a huge fan of, like, red lips. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the Revlon lipstick and cherries and snow actually i would say i like red lips but i only wear it usually like during holidays and stuff but this is red blondes cherries and the snow which is like a nice bright red lipstick it's super pretty it's like a pinky red so i'm just gonna apply this it's more like a pinky red but i don't really have any other pink or red lipstick so this is just gonna have to do and 
And then I'm just going to apply the lip gloss on top. This is just from Sephora. I think the brand Sephora. And just like I got this for Christmas and it just came with like a whole bunch of little mini rub, uh, uh, Sephora lip glosses and lipsticks. And it doesn't really have a name on it. But this really makes it the um, lipstick pop in it. There's a little bit more red. Like Selena Gomez. And now I'm getting like lipstick all over my like face. Ah. Okay, so that is pretty much the finished look. Don't mind if you guys see like little pink and stuff. I'm gonna fix it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this Selena Gomez Come and Get It makeup tutorial. Um, if you guys want any other, you know, kind of like celebrity inspired like makeup looks or clothing or hair or whatever, please let me know in the comments down below and just send me pictures and stuff because um, I would love to do it because this is actually really fun and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.